all right hello guys welcome back again um faculty emmanuel from capacitybay.org and uh, i'm gonna be our instructor for today's um section so um in today's section um, we are going to be talking about how to submit assignment um to your google classroom all right so you've been given an assignment in google classroom you're finding it difficult um to submit your assignment um there's a the video for you and um without further ado let's just dive right in so um i'm going to open up my python ideally um i i want to save a file all right uh, let me work with python here um, now i'm going to save a python file here that um, prints uh, welcome to capacity bay and um, i'm just going to save this file save and i created a folder in my documents um, called kappa python all right so i'm going to open up this folder and save i want to be saving all my python files inside this folder so let me go ahead and give it the name and um, i'm going to give it my name all right which is emmanuel and then save now after which um I can run you can see emmanuel.py and uh, I'll go ahead and close this if I go to my um, folder cover Python I can see my file emmanuel.py so I want to submit I've been given an assignment um, to submit this file all right when I'm done writing my program to submit this file via Google classroom so let's go ahead and open up a uh, Google classroom so I'm going to search um, classroom.google.com. All right, so I have it here. And um, I have two different classes here. So I'm going to go with the first one, uh, which is the Kappa Python. So you locate the class um, you want to submit the assignment to just like you um, in your school you have different sections um, different um, classes so I have one here called the Kappa Python and then I've been given an assignment by um, faculty Presley so I would want to submit the assignment I'm going to go ahead and click on the assignment now this is how it pops up all right and then this is the assignment the txt file I can go ahead and open up the txt file and then I can read the assignment all right download the txt file you know so that i can make use of it um, to do my assignment so basically we're not really talking about um how to um, download or do an assignment we want to learn how to submit to the google classroom so when i'm done with my file like i've saved my file emmanuel.py and then i'm going to go ahead and add or create so you see the button here add or create and then now there are different options all right if you want to submit um, a google doc you want to submit a google um, powerpoint or slideshow google sheets or google drawing all right this are for it or you have um, a link to your google drive um, you want to share um, by submitting that all right and then you can also submit a link all right let's say um, in the future purposes uh, maybe submitting your github repository link or so um, you can use this so basically we're going to be using the file because um, the file is located in my computer and then um, I need to open up the file I click open and then I have an option to drag or upload my file here so I'm going to click on browse and then it opens up my um, windows um, here I'll go ahead and locate my file alright where did I save my file I actually saved it in my document folder and then I have my Kappa Python folder. Now I can see my Emmanuel.py. Now when I click on Emmanuel.py and I click on open, now it uploads that to the Google Classroom. You can see it's loading and then it has uploaded my file to the Google Classroom, right? And then basically you have added the assignment to the Google Classroom. You haven't submitted, so take note of that whenever you add your assignment to the google classroom make sure to hit on the turn in button this on turn in button tells us 
if you have submitted or not all right right now i have not submitted i've added my assignment and if i were to leave this and go um my assignment won't be graded all right so click on turn in and then turn in assignment all right now you can see they stated here turned in and then you can also unsubmit all right so basically that's it and then um thank you guys for um being with me in this great section um if you have a question drop that in the comment section below um like share and subscribe to our youtube channel turn on the bell notification icon to get updates uh, when we drop a new video thank you guys and see you in the next one